The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says there are about 3,500 sleep-related deaths among U.S. babies each year. And here to provide us with valuable information on this topic is Sonia Edelman. Thank you for your time. Thank you. It's really interesting because 3,500 kids, that's infants, and all happening right here in the confines of sleep. I mean, how does this happen? Well, most of the time, um, people think that babies need a lot of things around them to be comfortable. So they may not even have a crib, so they may put them on the bed with them. Right. Um, and sleeping with adults or co-sleeping with a bigger sibling um, exposes the child to risk of suffocation. And many times we think suffocation is like hand over the mouth, but it really can be like the, somebody rolling over and the baby is not big enough to move, and so you end up cutting off their air supply. Interesting. And in Texas, last year we had 158 deaths wow. just from co-sleeping something that we definitely could have prevented. And uh, let's talk about that prevention. I mean, here we have stuffed animals, which family members tend to give our babies <laughs> at a young age, the blankets. So what is the appropriate thing to do in a space like this? So this is um, just a pack and play, not a crib, but you could have a bassinet, you could have a pack and play or a crib, and you need to not have any bumper pads. You know, the decorative ones here are really easy for babies to get suffocated. So the baby needs to be in a onesie that, that keeps them warm mm -hmm. with no blanket, no stuffed animals, and no pillow. So we would so, get rid of all of this. So we should just have an empty crib and the baby there, and then there's not a risk of suffocation. Good, and there is more of this information that you can take advantage of. Uh, Sonia, tell us more about the care team. So the care team at Driscoll Children's Hospital is the child abuse resource and evaluation team. We evaluate about 2,200 children a year for concerns of abuse, um, but we're also a resource for education. So if you wanna know more about safe sleep for your baby, you can call us at 361-694-CARE, which is 2273. Great, thank you, Sonia, for your time. Really important information there. Be sure to write that down and give them a call if you want more information.